Good day to every one of you. Today is day three of our wonderful novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe, December the 5th. Um, so we're going to pray that novena for the various intentions that I that mentioned the last couple of days. Obviously, you have your own intentions as well. Obviously, we know this image is a miraculous image. Most of us all know the story. But um, just going to clarify, as today's Mass, this morning at Our Lady, the Mass was always a Saturday Mass for the unborn. We I mean, know Our Lady of Guadalupe, she's the pregnant virgin. As we said earlier, we know, of course, that's why the Indians were able to to recognize this is the one that she was pointing to, was who was who was the God, the, the only God, which is Jesus Christ. But we know that there have been more than one um, people who have put, you know, doctors and stuff who have put stethoscopes up to below the band where um, the pregnancy is, and they've been able to hear a heartbeat. It's actually two heartbeats. One was the, the the normal heartbeat of an adult, which would have been the Blessed Mother, and they've also been able to hear the heartbeat of a baby beating around, I think, 152 beats or whatever uh, a minute. I think that's the, the baby's uh, the, the baby's heartbeat, and so that obviously that's that's Christ. And so this is a very miraculous image. Um, so many other miracles too. I'll mention another one tomorrow. Not that you don't already know those anyway, but what a beautiful thing that the Blessed Mother is 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 here with us right now in a special way. It's definitely here in that image. She's in that image. That heartbeat is beating. That's how much God loves us. And so let us pray this novena to Our Lady of Guadalupe this day three. So we open up our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mary, most sorrowful, whose immaculate heart was pierced by seven swords of grief, help me to walk valiantly amid the sharp thorns strewn across my pathway. Obtain for me the strength to be a true imitator of you. This I ask of you, my dear mother. And we make our request, as I said, we make the request for the protection of the unborn and an end to abortion, and also for of the conversion uh, of the United States, the conversion of our country, that, that light will scatter the darkness, the light of Christ. And then you also have your own intentions that I'm sure you would you add to this novena as well. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. So we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Memorare of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Remember, O most gracious Virgin of Guadalupe, that in your heavenly apparitions on the Mount of Tepeyac, you promise to show your compassion and pity towards all who, loving and trusting you, seek your help and call upon you in their necessities and afflictions. You promise to hear our supplications, to dry our tears, and to give us consolation and relief. Never has it been known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, we fly to you, O Mary, ever-Virgin Mother of the true God. Though grieving under the weight of our sins, we come to prostrate ourselves before you. We fully trust that, standing beneath your shadow and protection, nothing will trouble or afflict us, nor do we need to fear illness or misfortune or any other sorrow. O Virgin of Guadalupe, you want to remain with us through your admirable image, you who are our mother, our health, and our life, placing ourselves beneath your maternal gaze, and having recourse to you in all our necessities, we need do nothing more. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. Have a beautiful uh, Saturday day. Saturday um, day, And uh, know that I pray for you, and I beg you, please, please pray for me.